and see you in two weeks' times for Nashville. Oops, spoiler alert. Okay. Is there anything else we can make for you? Nah, that'll be it. It's going to be 6.15 is the second window. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Dine-in's closed. What the balls thought we were done with this whole dine-in getting closed crap. Ugh. Well, thanks for the local Wendy's. All right. Shoot, my wallet's stuck in my pocket. <laughs> well, there it goes. Whew. I lost my card for a second. <laughs> oh, that's always a terrifying thing. Yeah. There's that. All right, thank you. And there you are, sir. Enjoy your day. Sweet, thank you very much. Hello. We're getting a rolling start today. Just stopped by the local Wendy's. And yeah, getting some breakfast. Taking a road trip to Nashville. Nashville, Tennessee. For all this traffic bad. Okay. Nashville, Tennessee for Indy cars of the Nashville Super Speedway. Who would have thunk it? Well, D, you can probably see right here, right below the steering wheel. I'm repping the IZOD Indy Car Series shirt. A little bit of throwback. To an Indy car was the title sponsor before. Well, I guess they were Verizon for one year, but majority of the time they were IZOD's title sponsor and no title sponsor before that. But anyway, having a lot of bad flashbacks. So far, gotten scammed already. Got a ticket off of uh, StubHub. Never do that again. Turned out being a, uh, they gave me a practice ticket instead of a race day ticket. So that's great. So, big thumbs down. That's 70 bucks wasted. 20 to 10 clicks was on a gift card. But oh well. Hopefully this doesn't have sophomore slump vibes like the second gateway trip. Also, it might rain all weekend, so that might suck. So I might get to not see Jack Dilly crap because I have to be work on Monday. No questions asked. So that's fun. You don't know what you're going to see. We don't know if this is going to be posted or not. But you'll find out if it happened or not if you're seeing this. Alright, let's go eat some breakfast and tip the road. It's about 8 a.m. local time. Yeah, because dining's closed. Feels bad. Well, just for a little bit, maybe. Maybe this time couldn't get the full staff in. That's alright. They didn't mess up. As long as I got my... Cherry vanilla Dr. Pepper, it's fine. And they got that right. So they didn't screw up my work, so thumbs up for that. If you're gonna go have drive through only, that's make it good. Oh yeah, hopefully this might not be a train wreck because one, got scammed already, not great. Uh, two, supposed to be golfing in Tennessee. That didn't happen. Took a phone call to book a tea time just to see if they're open because you know, there was a hurricane down there and they've had more, just about as much rain as Noah saw on the ark. <laughs> earlier on so that's wonderful and the response I got was was are we open it's like yeah of course rope i got my i got my club open today so you're not allowed to go on I'm like okay th thanks thanks dude get destroyed i guess that's cool but yeah first time in the nashville super speedway in a decade so something about it, bringing an indy car back to the 20 mid 2010s is reviving about there's a championship battle somewhat alex Plo and will power Going for the title. I guess technically Scott McLaughlin, but he can get eliminated if Polo scores any points at all. But yeah, I'm gonna gas up a little bit. Not no four fresh fire stones on Shell Field. There's already a gas station I have in mind. I wanna go gas to because there's a pretty significant milestone that we hit in Indiana. Thanks, Indiana. Now watch Tennessee gas prices be like 35 cents cheaper. But yeah, going this far south, I've not been this far south in about a decade. Wow. So, yeah, hope you fun. Timestamps down below. I know someone complained about that, about there not being timestamps. They're there, just gotta use the scroller dummy or check the description out. I'm not putting it on screen. Just thought you let you know. All right, that's it. Let's hit the road to Kentucky and Nashville. We'll go ahead and take that good on Indiana gas prices and Muncie gas prices being somewhat cheap. It's a good start. Now rest for the rest of the video. Across the Ohio. On the free road. Welcome to Kentucky. Welcome to Kentucky. No need to pay $5.60 just across the bridge. That's literally a quarter mile to the left. Big 
Ferdinand. Hein. Right against the river, right against US 31. No, no Kentucky, welcome to Kentucky sign. Or Kentucky, you heard it here first, folks. I 64 East. Any traffic coming? Doesn't look like it. We'll go, we move. Oh my goodness. Jaywalking, illegal. All right, I 60. Just like that, son. Just like that, son. So about a four minute loss, four minutes, or $5.60. It's up to you. I'm gonna take four minutes any single day, but wasting five, six on a toll road. That's it. Since Tennessee's golf course said, nah, might as well jump on the Kentucky and see how this goes. Kentucky, Kentucky out of the list. Also, we found our first one of the day. Little, little Hogan, oldie. Wow. I don't know where I keep all this. Oh, it's right here. Anyway, we're here at Cherokee Golf Course. I don't know where it's at, but it looks very hilly for Kentucky's sakes. That's it. Be back in a little. All right, here's another golf ball. Looks like old crappy golf balls or old antique golf balls. Might be the story of today. Oh, maybe not. That's the Titleist. Titleist. Oh, it's a Pro B One X. Hey, hey, well, it looks like with the 07 to 09 variety, but hey, a Pro B1X is a Pro B1X. We'll definitely put that in the bag. Golf season continues on. That's two in one hole. Taxes and bogeying the easiest hole in the golf course. The three constants of life. I will say, this tee box, not great. It's pretty tall. And I may have gotten overcharged. And they may have, dude at the front desk may have charged you for 18. But hey, if you look down here, that's nice, huh? steep hill. Yeah, that's the same golf course that we're playing on. We got some hills to work with. Very reminiscent of the West Virginia course went to. Built nine hole course in Wheeling. I mean, this course was built, they think it said in 1896. So, woof, ain't that, it's old. Oh yeah, nice golf course in the, tucked away in the hills of Louisville. Titleist. Nice. That's a Pro B1. Sweet. Quality over quantity today. Love it. Another freebie. Callaway. Super soft. Nice. Two or through six. Got paired up with another solo walker. Very nice, of course. Alright. Well, that was a very fun golf course for a little nine hole course, old fashioned hole. Cherokee golf course here in Louisville, Kentucky. Not racist at all. <laughs> oh yeah, very nice. Sorry I didn't get to see show much of it. I did make birdie on the final hole. So you ought to take my word for it. I was paired up with a solo walker at the end. We decided to play on it because the pace of play was slow. Oh yeah, he's a real cool dude. Shout out to Nick, fellow, not a fellow, but Talk about hockey for the most of it. Toronto Maple Leaf fan, so minus one point for being a Toronto Maple Leaf fan, but eh, oh well. No hard feelings against him. He was a cool dude. Good people in my book. Eh? Alright, see you in a bit. Eh? Golf total action. Whoop. 
tunnel. I don't know what this tunnel is, but it's a tunnel. They've got people walking up there. What the heck is that? Short tunnel. But it's a tunnel nonetheless. 10 out of 10. What tunnel again? Eh? We're here. I don't know what it is. I saw on the map. Eh? I think I had this place like 10 years ago. Some people said it's gone downhill. I don't know. We'll find out if it's gone downhill or not. Eh? Oh, yeah. Oh man, look at this. Got the mushroom swiss burger and smash fries. Here at Smash Burger. Word of food. Oh yeah, there's food right there. <laughs> Say hello. Say hello to my friend who could not be who not be seen. Eh? Hello. Uh, yeah. We have a company. Very good. Very good company. Very good as a sponsor. Okay, <laughs> haven't dug in the mine yet. But keyword is Smash Burger's not gone downhill in the past ten years. We'll we'll see you out in a little bit. Smash Burger destroyed. It was very good, not mid or trash. Every bite, better burger. Every bite, oh gosh, I, I'm having a stroke. <laughs> Every bite, a better burger. Doesn't make sense, but whatever. There you go. That's their slogan that he got. Huh? Clean plate cup member. Pass it on. What? XXX. X, X. Oh no. Round two. We got shake. Because why not? Huh? Gonna be here once. That's all. We're talking about venti. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Drew, they do have their office records on file. Thumbs up. See-through elevator, wow. I did cheat a little bit. Eh? I put my stuff in already. However, I didn't get to see much of else because it's darker than balls outside. Oh yeah, there's an airplane going by overhead. So that's not great. All right, let's see if we can do this first try twice. Yes, okay, cool. All right. Let's get some light. It's on here. It is sweaty and it is chucking buckets outside. Thank you, Francine, for your corpse just sitting over the valley. I'm not so sure if IndyCar got cracked some qualifying in. But yeah, <laughs> it's wetter than balls. But as you can see, hello everyone. Welcome to the Quality Inn, or nope, not Quality Inn. <clears throat> quality Suites. Quality Suites, woo, we gotta get fancy. Here in Nashville, tennis, Tennessee. As you can see, here we go. Oh, first things first, that picture frame's a little crooked. But all right, but this room, interesting design. I will give it that. Maybe they're using up every single space they can possibly can. But yeah, you got weird little design features. Looks like my apartment in Indianapolis would do. So, bad flashbacks there. 
we got the AC in which it's even numbers only, so you can't set it at 69 degrees, so not nice on that one. We'll set it at 66 and hope David Lucas gets a win today. His last for Meyer Shank, last race for Meyer Shank. There's a view outside. Location is really, really stupid because the entrance is right there, and you have a strode you gotta turn left on to get to the interstate, and then the stoplight is right there for the Fairfield Inn. Oh, and just turned red. Leave my luck. So, there's like no businesses at all around here except for restaurants, except for maybe a Waffle House way out in the distance. So, location, not great. It's mostly for airport people, so I understand that a little bit. We got a ceiling fan, which is a rarity in, well, maybe a ceiling fan. Okay, that's as bright as we're gonna get. So we got some mood lighting. Does the ceiling fan work? Yes, it does. Okay, so at least we got that much. Lights. That's a pretty decent light. This thing's still same in night vision mode, so that's awesome. We got this light. That works. Cool. Hey, now we're kicked off night vision mode. Feels good. We got this lamp. We got outlets of plenty, so no way to bring outlets. We got the L-shaped couch, or I guess day bed couch. Is there a sleeper sofa in here? Just for kicks and giggles. Yes, there is. It's already padded and ready to go, it looks like. So, there's that. We got the microwave set to <laughs> 759. It is not 759. It is, I don't know if I get my phone out. 5.50 p.m. Central Time. And Ball State's losing 10 nothing. Honestly, that's less than what I thought they were going to. But, oh well. They're going to finish up 5-7 and seven regardless. Tangent aside, microwave. Clean, old, but respectable. Looks fine there. Oops, just whacked my camera. Uh, storage. That's a dungeon in there. We got the uh, refrigerator, refrigerator with the GE branded one, so interesting. Hey, oh, oh. <laughs> well, we got one cockeyed, but we got complimentary water. Thumbs up. Although, because NASCAR's a bum, I don't think you're allowed to bring in drinks into the stadium or the speedway. Outside sink, nice and clean and fresh. Piping looks good. Whatever the heck that is. I don't know what that is. Is that popcorn? No, nope, that's just someone's cardboard they left behind. All right, cool. We got a Keurig, which is basically standard for this point. We got Twang's green tea. We got English breakfast black tea, which I'll take the tea. Screw coffee. Tea will beat coffee any single day in my book. We got TV. We got another Samsung TV. What's up with Samsung and having hotel TVs? I don't know. What are they doing? We got the uh, direct TV remote. Now without uh, ESPN because they, uh, they're in a power struggle right now. We got a fireplace, or at least a fake fireplace. I don't know if this works or not. But that's a nice little mood thing if you're in the ever winter time. Yeah, you know what? I think it might be just for decorations only because I have no way of testing this. Oh, wait, there it is. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it has got heat. You got heat. There we go. Some mood lighting. Or you can turn the heat on. Okay, that's cool. Whew, it's still humid. Man, it's not as humid in Indiana, I can tell you that much. We got this light. That works cool. Vent, little dust bunnies hanging around in there. We got the main bedroom with a loud and potentially slightly unfunctional, oh no, it's loud but functional AC, so it somehow not happens to be both, but we'll take that. Can you see Wumi from back there? Oh yeah, there's Wumi. Wumi's back there. That's cool. Yeah, this this clock's accurate. All right, so we got the uh, the sunbeams correct. We got more charging outlets in case you forget a charger, but you have to bring your own USB cord. Lights, there we go. And it looks like it's a radio, or you can put on your auxiliary cord, so you've got a headphone jack. Hey, you're in business, you can play your music on this thing, but still not new enough for Bluetooth. Check in here. Closets, nothing there. Nope, nothing there. Oh yeah, another Samsung TV and another direct TV remote. This one's seen better days. It's got scuffed up in it, so hopefully it didn't do any business. If you know what I mean. Got this one, got the phone. Quality suites. Oh gosh dang, I keep looking for the thing. Standard, I think every single one of these has one. Notepad and pen. It's quality time, and sure it is. Nope, nothing down there. 
Oh, okay, they both open together, good to know. Uh, no B Blaze in this one, so we're gonna go 0 for 2 on the Indy Car trips for no B Blaze. Dead gun it. This is ringing my whole entire gig. Nope, no B Blaze in there, just an abyss. Wow, disappointing. You would think we're in the Bible Belt, you would think they have some, some B Blaze hanging around. But, alas, big, big nope. And yeah, this one set 68 degrees because you can't set it at 69. So, thumbs down for that. We got your soaps. Oh boy, we got the mix and match. <laughs> we got the quality in shampoo. <laughs> and we got one from the Comfort Inn. <laughs> the ratio, which is a Comfort Inn special. So, very nice. Got oh my goodness, water pressure is insane in that one. There I am. Hello. Got some nice lights. Got some aesthetics. But if you look through the aesthetics, Got some gunkiness hanging up there. Actually, that's a pipe up there. Interesting. Fully loaded on the uh, tissue paper, so that's good. Extra bedding and pillows if you need it. And iron. Um, hangers, wide open, open. So you cannot miss it. There's no secret door to where you will not forget your hangers and clothes. So that's good. You got a safe. Do not touch that because you might get charged for it. Bathroom. Okay. Bathroom looks fine. Another air vent. This one's got dust bunny free, so thumbs up on that one. Uh, sprinkler system. Be careful if that's it. Toilet paper. Eh, double ply. Double ply toilet paper. Okay, nice, nice, nice. The pooper. The American Standard. Looks old, but hey, American Standard pooper looks good. Floor tiles. Looks fine. Door. No exhaust fan, so it feels bad on that one. Ooh, that's a little. Ha! Someone must have had war with the door. Or slam it too hard, because <laughs> that looks like fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tub looks clean. Got more soap down there. Shower curtain looks a little... Looks experienced. It's yellowed. More yellow than white. That's great. Little cosmetic cracks. But, yeah. Looks very, very similar to my <laughs> apartment back in Indianapolis. Back when I lived there for a year. Got another crack right there. Oh. <laughs> Put your thumb in it and it moves like a whole full inch. <laughs> That's nice. But yeah. How much does this room cost? Well, for me, it was free. Because I used points. So, in the event, <laughs> I got two free bottles of water. But on a normal day, because there's the Grand Ole Opry is like five minutes that way, plus the IndyCar race is going on this weekend, the room rate was like 140 bucks a night, which... Uh, some price gouging, but at least it's got the quirkiness until we see what breakfast looks like in the morning to where you could get away with charging 148 bucks a night. I don't know what the anti-price gouging law says on it, or if there is an anti-price gouging law in the state of Tennessee. Mm, 450 bucks a night. Okay, so they got a lot more wiggle room to price gouge you, so yeah. Inflation sucks. 140 bucks a night. This is why if you're ever booking points, or if you have a credit card, take some uh, financial advice from Inkling underscore XA. Get a credit card to a hotel room, or hotel or brand, or whatever you want that you want, that's no percent APR, so you're not paying a dime, and use it as a debit card. Just make sure you're paying everything in full, or else they'll screw you sideways, and you get free nights like this one. So, thumbs up. And then Baron Bunny is already here. Baron Bunny is not yet unboxed. It's raining outside, so consider this her rain gear. Unfortunately, it might need rain gear for the track tomorrow. <laughs> we'll find out if we got practice or qualifying in. And they do have a Mexican restaurant downstairs. Hopefully it's not expensive, but I don't feel like moving, so that may be our option for dinner tonight. I'm going to tap out, unfortunately. Ugh, it's hot and sweaty. It's pan real pancaking in here. All right, back in a second. All right, check a bear and bunny test. Pillows. Eh, look firm. Not great. Oh, wait, that one's really, really soft. That one's, like, impossibly soft. Wow. Bedding, a lot of cushion. That's a lot of cushion. So if you if you like a soft bed, these are your types of bed. If you like a firm bed, you might want to stay away from this hotel. But I like the, the soft ones, so that's going to be points on me. But yeah, there it is. So far, not bad. Pretty, pretty quirky. Interesting design. I don't even know what this building is. Is this the Grand Ole Opry? I'm guessing. I'm not a country music person. 
I don't know what the heck this is. Blah, blah, blah. Country Music Hall of Fame. Oh, of course, not even on it. Country Music Hall of Fame. Okay, there it is. All right, you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> All right, well, time to unwind. Yeah, it's safe to say that's not happening today. All granted, for the first time all day here in Tennessee, it has stopped raining. Wow. Or at least here in Nashville. The speedway's 30 minutes over and they got practice and qualifying in somehow. Good on them. Anyway, there's a pool. No hot springs. And outdoor pool only. $3 for a wash and $3 for a load. Still cheaper than Muncie, but get the frick out of here for paying 3 bucks for a wash and a dry. I remember a few years ago it was just two bucks and for a wash and a dollar fifty for a dry. Get the freak out of here. Also there's the pool. Again. We're gonna risk it. We're gonna try the Mexican restaurant in here. Hopefully it's not too expensive. Hmm. That'll be fun to mess around with in the morning. What the balls is that? El Lote Loco. I don't know what that is. One corn cooked and served with a special mixed house. Oh, so deep corn dog. Except it's actually corn. We Americans don't know what's good, I guess. <laughs> don't know what corn dogs are. Anyway, there's a place. La Parilla. This is why I took French in high school, not Spanish. Okay. <sighs> Pea blue. Big thumbs down. And 350 for one. God. Dang. Chips and salsa are free. One review a complaint I saw was that you had to pay for it. So hopefully I won't get backstabbed for this. I see this look and see this cup. And all I see is pain. Stupid people. Screw you people. Okay, I was about to say it was a shame of ordering something that I would get in Muncie. But never mind. They had a different twist to it. Anytime you see a steam phone, you know it's going to be good. Alright, there's gonna be leftovers for sure. Life hack. If you get tortillas and you get a steaming plate, always use a, your tortillas as a blanket. The warm tortillas and keep your food warm. Or eat chips and salsa and where the heck greens you want to put on with. Thumbs up. Just thought you case you'd know that. Breaking news from the Squid Research Desk. Uh, Ball State's deciding to, uh, I heard my compliments of them keeping it close and decided to let Miami score a touchdown again. Oh well, still gonna finish 5-7 no matter how bad they are. But more importantly, Kyle Kirkwood is the pole sitter for Nashville, and Pelot's struggling. That's all I've seen, i.e. motorsports.com. Thank you very much for that. But yeah, that'll be very interesting if Kirkwood bleeds. Maybe the Andres are on it, which would be good. Maybe to see a big chungus win on the oval, hopefully. But I'll take a Kyle Kirkwood oval win. And most importantly... The weather for Sunday, 20% chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. 20% chance of thunderstorms after 1. The race starts at 2. Good as is, none of this rain, rain likely crap. But they got qualifying in, so they got a dry slot. Please, oh please, no rain. So I can, because that would be five and a half hour drive back to Indiana. It's going to suck for work tomorrow morning. Please and thank you. That is all. All right, as we wait for the Genshin Impact Wi-Fi stress test test to fire up and do another painstakingly slow download, let's go over some results from the IndyCar qualifications. So Kyle Kirk was on pole. Well, unless allegedly he junked it in final practice, so a little more drama on there. Joseph Newgard starting P2, so the local, the local boy might get some booze in the crowd, but he's P2. Rosenquist, P3, Willpower, Zach in the championship, P4, decent shape. Santino Ferrucci, David Lucas, P6, so maybe that'll be something set in all the AC, 66 degrees. Will be something. Got Connor Dilly. I brought his shirt, probably gonna wear it tomorrow. Oh, it's not gonna zoom in. Oh, that's cool. Connor Dilly's down seven, so that's another good day. Maybe another podium for Connor Dilly? Trying to nail down a drive for next year. Santino Ferrucci's P5, which is <laughs> kind of whack. Uh, would be the most sophomore slump thing eh? to see a Santino Ferrucci win. But that's the worst thing that'll happen. I'll take that. Pat Award 8th, McLaughlin 9th. Colton Hurd, a big chunk to start in 11th. Scott Dixon, defending winner, 13th. Alex Plo, 15th. Hurd's got a 9th place grid penalty. So he's starting way back in 24th behind Jack Harvey. So yeah, the championship's on. So whatever happens, 
Willpower has to finish at least third to even be mathematically possibly in the championship. And then some other notables, my favorite drivers, Rossi had problems. He's got a ninth place grip penalty. He's starting 26th, along with Nolan Siegel, who jumped it in practice, and Stingray Robin 25th because he had mechanical failure. Feels bad. Anyway, well, they said the race, I have a bad feeling it's going to be a boring race because it's going to be hot, humid, potentially sticky with a maybe a green race racetrack. But maybe it'll be like Texas Motor Speedway since it's a 1.33 mile and they're hitting speeds of 200 miles an hour. They are bringing the road court or the short oval chassis, so not a fan of that. Because either that was hoping they were going to strap on the super speedway wings, but maybe that's too dangerous. They did hit 200 miles an hour in practice, so in qualifying, so that's good. At least be high speeds. I was hoping it just doesn't rain. And apparently, turn three is going to be calamity quarter because of uh, some concrete. <laughs> just being taken out and murdering Kirkwood and Siegel, so that's cool. And yeah, that's cool. It's the same for the warm. <sighs> Can't you impact Wi Fi stress test test? What are the numbers? Number says Connection's pretty good. The download was pretty garbage, I'll be completely honest with you. But that's unbelievably stable and good numbers. Do I dare say A plus? I don't think so. Is it good? Maybe. A minus. Give A minus for the speed and like a B minus for download. It'll balance out. Ain't that right? Morning, next day, 7.42 a.m. Central Time. Good seven hours of sleep, again. Very nice, very nice bed. Uh, airport's going by overhead, so a little bit of noise, but uh, not too bad for my problem. But some people might not like that. Uh, nice, clear, partly cloudy skies, 70 degrees, a touch humid. Indy Next starts at 10.40. It's about three hours to that, so I'll get breakfast, get packed up, and get ready to go. Whew. Let's get some breakfast. Yeah, Bear and Bunny had a pretty good night's sleep, huh? For what it was worth. Huh? Messing around with eating sausage and eggs again for the third straight hotel. Well, I decided I was not a member of the Clean Plate Club last night, so we're gonna have leftovers from the Mexican restaurant last night. Anyway, we got a half a waffle and two cappuccinos from the machine. It was gonna be hot chocolate, however, when I pressed hot chocolate, it gave me hot water. So that's great. And also, this hotel has no butter. So, pretty average on it, and there's not a lot of seating, so... Or, there's a lot of communal seating out there, so no foursome, so I guess... There's that, so I decided just to take it back to the room. And it's done. Come on, now. I 
I didn't expect it. So this thing is a double liar. Not this is not huh? whatever the heck I got. It's gosh dang it. Straight up black coffee. What the heck? So bottom story, that weird fancy cap machine machine can't be trusted. So we're going with the breakfast tea as our source of caffeine today. Well, at least I finally got to use one of these darn things. It's the first time we're touching a Keurig. I don't know how it worked. So, we'll see if I did it right. Oh, it's bright out there. Alright, that's a one night stay at the, uh, as an airplane goes overhead, Southwestern Airlines. That's cool. One night stay at the uh, Quality Suites here in Nashville, Tennessee. So, a few things to note. The elevator has elevator music. That's the first ever elevator I've had a, that's had elevator music that I've been to. Uh, breakfast, I would say disappointing for how big that hotel is. And the seating was just not very limited. I mean, granted, there is a lot of people coming in and out from the airport. So that may make sense. But considering that breakfast was average as your normal standard suburban slash middle of nowhere hotel, just eggs, sausage patties, waff, one flavor of waffles, apples, oatmeal, some cereals, and then that fancy looking cappuccino machine that doesn't give you any cappuccino or anything like that. It's just black coffee or hot water or bust. So, had high hopes, but it's eh, not too bad. It kind of reminded me of a mini, like, higher end hotel, kind of like a Westin or something like that. I stayed in a Westin, like, maybe like only three times in my life, only for conferences and stuff, <laughs> where we didn't have to pay the pull price, just split the bill four ways. But yeah, it kind of looked like a mini version of that with the eight trim and how it's set up. But hey, you don't have to pay for the internet, at least at this one, so that's nice. I guess technically it is a three-star hotel, technically, while Westons and stuff are four-star hotels. Which is weird, because quality in and quality suites are usually two-star hotels. But, oh well, it was pretty nice. Not what I expected from a quality in. There was a lot of Jets fans, of New York Jets fans that building. And I couldn't give a darn about the NFL for most things, but I feel pity for them because they're probably going to lose. So it must be a game in Nashville, which also kind of probably jacked the price just a little bit more. Because the NFL rules the world pretty much, and it's kind of dumb and stupid. And that the whole, well, as an auto racing fan, that the whole auto racing stops in September because the NFL's in charge and rules everything. I don't like that. That's why once IndyCar's over, there's the dog days where there's nothing but football, so couldn't give a darn less about it unless Ball State somehow managed to pull off a miracle victory and get me interested again. But it's going to be the dog days of late summer, early fall until hockey season starts up, so whoop you freaking do on that one. The Genshin Impact Wi-Fi stress test test it is good on connection, so it can game fine, but the download speeds are absolutely atrocious, so don't even try downloading anything onto it. It took me like half an hour just to get a half a gigabyte stuff download, so upload speed good, download speed absolutely abysmal. Uh, the convenience of going to the restaurant was kind of nice. I've never been to a hotel where you've had it, or at least to this range, of going to a, hotel, to a restaurant downstairs. And the price, eh, it was fine for a soda and whatever I got was about 20 bucks, not including tip, so... It's all right, you could do a lot worse. That's just a couple bucks more than the Mexican restaurants I'm used to in Lindsay. So, not really that price gouging, but you do have to pay a couple bucks for a lazy tax, as I call it. And unfortunately, I was willing, I'm willing to admit that I had to pay lazy tax because I didn't feel like getting out and about, especially if it's raining most of the night. Yeah, it's good. This hotel is mainly for airport people. I've noticed there's a very small parking lot over here for cars, people who drive here. A lot of people in Ubers, a lot of air, pff, airport shuttles, a couple of EV char charging spots. So yeah, not too bad on that one. It's car dependent a little bit. I mean, there's nothing really around here. So yeah, drive at least a good 10 minutes just to find anything good. Unless you want Waffle House to potentially get shanked at the Waffle House. But I've been to a Waffle House a couple times before in the Indiana area, so I debunked that shanking myth. So, well worth it if you can mind Waffle House. But you got breakfast downstairs, so you want free breakfast that's complimentary, or do you want to? Waffle House is probably like 10 bucks. So yeah, and yeah, it's good if you're an airplane foamer, 
this is the hotel to be at. If you're on the third floor, you can just sit and watch the airplanes come in and out of your room, take photographs of the airplanes, post them on whatever the heck is 24-7 airline data radar database or whatever the heck the nerds call it these days. So it's very cool for that because the airplanes come right in and descend right over this hill. If you're a light sleeper or sometimes a moderate sleeper, do not stay here at all costs because you will not get a wink of sleep because there's only five hours a day where Nashville does not have any planes going in from this direction. That's 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. Anytime after that, those windows, there's planes flying in constantly like every three minutes and uses this route to use the landing pad. So do not book here if you're a light sleeper. However, I will say it's not much more different than an interstate highway. The semi trailers just going rushing by on the interstate. Probably actually maybe slightly better. So we got that. Got a good seven hours of sleep. Bedding was very nice. Very nice. Probably one of the nicer hotel beds I slept on. Only the sleep in and suites in Belmont, Ohio ranks it. So is this a perfect hotel? No, not quite. Is it good? Yes. Give it a solid 8.0 out of 10. Eight flat. We take it. Very nice day. We'll see you at Nashville Super Speedway. All right, in the most roundabout way possible, we finally made it. <laughs> uh, thank you to the sheriff's deputy for letting me in because I accidentally went the wrong way because there was literally no information sent to me or by Nashville Super Speedway about how to get here. Well, yeah, we got clear bag policy. However, I did read that there's potentially a no camcorder policy in which you might not see much because I'm not filling with this potato all freaking day. And what the heck, NASCAR, for you and your stupid tracks, you have to ban personal camcorders. This thing is a 1080p from the year 2013, and you're going to ban it because, oh, there's 4K cameras out there. What a joke, NASCAR. I've been to Milwaukee, and none of the Yellow Jackets did this. IMS, a bunch of other places, even hockey places, indoor arenas with more stricter policies. I don't need to film. What a joke. Anyway, well. Hopefully you'll see this. You might not see much. Next will be a slight less crap phone, possibly. See you inside. Copyright music in the background with the midways kind of popping. Like that. We got a pile of merchandise. Ooh, feels good. Woo, Stingray. Yay, and a Stingray booth. Big thumbs up. Hopefully it gets a drive next year. Also, we got the Mission Foods chips, so thank you to Pat Awards mer merchandising crew, or marketing crew. At least no one hasn't jumped this one yet. That's cool. It's hockey season, all season. Nice. Let's go! This is our mini Kennedy Lights race. But oh well, we're gonna get the blue flag being handed out. That's cool. Hello, Pylon. It's like Louis Foss is elite. Big shock right there. Three and to go. Here at a racetrack. What the balls? <laughs> okay. Looks 
looks nice. Alright, here's the big daddy dog. We got dog, we got him. Oh, there's a yellow jacket right there, that's great. Nope, screw off yellow jacket. We got Capcom Music thanks to Garth Brooks playing. Stop! Freaking yellow jackets. We got chips, local specialty. We got copyright music, thanks a lot, Garth Brooks. And we got Coke, very nice. We got bacon, grilled onions, cream cheese, the big daddy dog, and the special sauce. Not sauce, but sauce. The correct pronunciation for sauce. Very nice. Okay, thank you to St. Yellow Jackets for going to blow away. It's very windy and I feel drizzles of raindrops. Not great. Alright, let's try and get a first bite out of this somehow, some way. If I lose my napkins. Oh frick, it's windy as crap. Right. Oh, you saw nothing. Oh. Oh. Okay. So the dog's solid. It's essentially a Polish sausage and a hot dog. Not a fan of Polish sausages. But that was just all, all dog, no stuff. Look at get a thing of the concoction of the extras. Look at that. Okay, I can see it working well with each other. Very nice. Worth the 13 bucks. Well, better than 10 for a plain cheeseburger. Get the brick out here of that pricing. Well, you're paying for the convenience. Oh well. Well, we got this little lull in the action. We made a couple amendments. The yellow jackets, or in this case, the blue jackets, aren't very strict. They haven't yelled at me yet for having this camcorder. I snuck it in. And I passed inspection, so that's good. Uh, it's through Ticketmaster. The tickets are so. And be like after the resale stuff, it's like 91 bucks. It's all inclusive. We still gotta pay eight dollar inconvenience fee to Ticketmaster, regardless. So that's kind of pointless. And yeah, make a couple predictions because I feel confident about them. I have a bad feeling that Joseph Newgarden's gonna win the race, and Polo's gonna win the championship. Power's gonna finish the podium. I don't think it's gonna get there because Kirkwood's got a jump car. Yeah, I don't know. I hope I'm wrong. Hope I see someone, some, someone stupid win. We'll take it. Still got an like hour and a half to race day. The rain stopped. It's not as cloudy, but it's cool. Cool and windy. Probably in the upper 70s. What's going on down there? Couldn't care less about the concert. Would be freaking do. <laughs> got this dude over here, and they got the anime girl idol fan sticks out. <laughs> In Nashville and Country Music Land? Ah, never. Scrub.
got for us. We got some cheers in the crowd for Will. Let's go. I'll take it. <laughs> See how this one get, gets a reaction for her. Hometown home field advantage. No booze. Good to know. Stay there for very long. Yeah, Kyle.
Rosenquist. Rosenquist is up. Oh boy. Oh man, what awful luck for Kyle Kirkwood. Screwed by the screw. And that puts New Guard to the lead and Paul Kurt on second and David Lucas third.
out, Joseph.
Newgarden third. Oh my goodness, finally. Burn it down, Colton. Slightly biased. It was an okay race. Not horrible. But not still not as good as Milwaukee. Here's the Nashville sign in front of that the pace cars. It's time for the drive of shame. The six hour drive back to Muncie. Ugh. Golly, it's gonna be like midnight by the time I get back in. Eh? Eastern time. Well well, it's well worth to see Big Chungus' first oval win. You love to see it, huh? Also, don't have physical programs. However, shout out to the dude in a Scott McLaughlin jersey. He just gave me one. It's barely giving these out for free. None of the shirts and merchandise looked interesting, like Milwaukee. And they're still playing on the shelves. Oh, yeah. At least we got that something. But apparently, they're just giving these out. That's cool. And we got a Stingray Rob shirt in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, National Predators koozie, because why not? Hockey's always, it's always hockey season. <laughs> Very nice, and a sneaker drop shirt. Very cool. Oh yeah, parking's gonna be fun to get out. Oh yeah, there's Wumi. Very easy to find Wumi. Thankfully, at the beginning where the concrete and the grass begins. All right, very nice. 
All right, worst fears not realized. Oh, my door's not. There we go, that's better. Worst fears not realized. Pretty dang gum good trip, if I do say so myself. Nashville Super Speedway, at least for Indy cars, pretty experience. My biggest concern was the security with not bringing on the camcorders it was gonna be tough, but the Blue Jackets in this case, the security was very, very laxed about it. I don't think they really cared. I bet it'd be a little bit more different because NASCAR teams sends to run security and stuff like a clown show in some ways. They did it with uh, IMS in the the full oval race back in the day, so it makes sense now. Parking's free. At least general mission parking is free. It's first come, first served. Or you can reserve parking for like 20 bucks, something like that. So thumbs up to Nashville Super Speedway for that. They do do Ticketmaster, so I guess you can say the $5 inconvenience fees for Ticketmasters is your parking fee. But yeah, it's a good experience. Well worth the trip. I might will highly consider doing the trip next year since it falls on Labor Day weekend and I'll likely have that off. But yeah, hot, sweaty, sticky, weather was perfect. It didn't rain, thank goodness. Unbelievable, like a week ago today was like 80% chance of rain today. But yeah, the race was interesting. It was a fuel strategy that actually worked out because you could actually pass lap traffic. It was a multi-groove racetrack, concrete, and Colton heard a one. <laughs> Joseph Newgarden finished third, so when picked to win, thankfully didn't win. But he'll take a podium in his hometown race. Yet again, maybe he'll get one one day. Just likely not to. Not soon. But yeah, very fun. Very good experience. And yeah, let's hit the road back to Indiana. If you know the song, you know the song. <laughs> I watched Tennessee gas prices be like 35 cents cheaper. We're getting gas here at, uh, what is this place called? Thornton's Jumbo Joe, Th Jumbo Joe, Joe Th Thornton's gas station. I gave credit for Indiana for having good gas prices begin to 99. Let's take a look at this. Tennessee. I better, I figured it, I thought so. 249 for gas in Tennessee. Indiana, time to take a dump on you again. Why is your gas prices so stinking high? 249 in Tennessee. That's the lowest I've seen it probably since the year 2020, to be completely honest with you. Oh yeah, each day's not looking good. Each day's looking like 1 a.m. So that's fun. Hey, at least we got some good gasoline. Continue for 143 miles. Oh shoot. Hop on here in 62 seconds. We got a thunderstorm up here. And right here on the right. Back to Kentucky. Andy Bashar is governor, apparently. You are here first, folks. Unbridled spirit. Welcome to Kentucky. Thanks. Finally made it back after almost six hours of driving. Finally made it back. Just oh, right at the stroke of midnight. How how fun is that? All right, time to get three hours of sleep and go to work in the morning. Time to get like three hours of sleep and go to work. <laughs> That'll do it. Thanks for watching. And.